Today, ladies and gentlemen, is a very large day because 1.8 came out from Minecraft. This has been waited for a long time. See, guys, the dates right here from when 1.7 was released to 1.8 was released was basically an entire year. And today, guys, I'm going to show you all most of the new features. I'm going to skip, I'm going to skip probably the commands and stuff, but I'm going to show you guys the items and everything. So, guys, my name's Lutely99, and let's get started. Hit me with that bass. Okay guys, so our first new block is called Granite, which is right here. It spawns all over the area, so it's really not all that hard to find, and <laughs> honestly, it actually looks pretty cool. And then here's Polished Granite, which I believe you can just craft four of these to get it into a Polished Granite. And then here's Deerite, which is found everywhere, like, you can basically go into any cave and you can find this stuff anywhere, it doesn't really matter where you are, really. And then there's Polished Deerite, which I believe you can also craft. And then you get over to the Dark Prismarine, which is actually an underwater thing that guards the temple underwater, which I'll show you guys later. So this basically guards the treasure. And then here's Prismarine, which is what the temple is made out of. So this stuff, it's super common. I mean, the temples aren't really all that common. But this stuff is, if you can find it. And then there's the Sea Lantern, which is basically how they light up the temple. And you can see there's like this really cool looking pattern on it. It has like a little animation right here, like a little explosion or whatever. And then, we have the sponges. So we have a wet sponge and we have a normal sponge. So what happens is you go over here, and you can suck up all this water with a sponge. And then they turn into wet sponges, which you can then put into the furnace. And you can bake it, turn it into a normal sponge. And what's cool about this is if you do use lava, the bucket automatically fills with water. So it's really cool. But yeah, then you get your sponge back and you can keep just draining stuff that you actually ever need. So then here we have some stands, sandstone, it's called red sandstone. Basically the crafting recipe for the stairs is, actually for the main thing, is you get four red sand, makes it into a um, piece of sandstone. Then you get the sandstone, which you know, four of those makes it into a smooth red sandstone. And then you get the smooth sandstone, and then, or the chisel sandstone, then you put it into the red sandstone stairs. And then if you do this recipe right here, it gives you some redstone slabs. So this is what it looks like. They're really cool. I think they could be really awesome when you're trying to build some cool looking things, probably like desert type stuff. And I think it could really help for everyone in the near future. And here we have some coarse dirt. Basically, it means that you cannot grow grass on it. So if you want something that you don't want grass grown like a normal piece of dirt would be, and you just put coarse dirt here instead. And that's basically, it. it stops all grass from growing, which is pretty cool. I think it could be very useful for building anything that you don't want grass on. And then guys, here's one of my favorite parts, is the new wooden doors, fences, and gates. So these are really cool, they're really stylish. You can actually see out of this one mostly way better, and it looks really cool. And then you have the fences, which I'm surprised they haven't gotten this out earlier, but the fences look so awesome. They they are definitely gonna be able to be used to build so many cool things now, as well as the gate as well as the gates and stuff, not as much though. And also guys, we have a new mob which is called a bunny. Yes, it's called a bunny. And basically when you when you kill him, you could get a rabbit hide, raw rabbit, rabbit, and then you can you cook the raw rabbit into cooked rabbit and then make rabbit stew and then there's a rabbit foot that is actually used for potion making which is really cool I believe it gets you the jumping because rabbits are able to jump really high so I'll show you guys the potions later and here we have the guardian and he drops prismarine crystals and prismarine shards and this is what he looks like he's like this really ugly creepy thing that likes to stalk you like his one little eye is always following you so it's really really creepy and then also the sheeps Sheepies, yeah. Sheepies actually drop some stuff now. They drop raw mutton and, of course, wool, and you can cook the raw mutton, which is really nice. Good food. When I first started out Minecraft, I was, like, spending my entire first night just trying to kill sheep so I could get food, When then I realized that you can actually can't, which is stupid. And next, guys, we have the armor stand. So, basically, this, looks, this is basically how it looks with diamond armor, but I'll just show you guys what it normally looks like with normal armor. So all you have to do is just click it, and it puts the armor on, which looks cool. <laughs> so that's going to be really nice. It can save some chest space that you may need, and it's 
very compact, you don't need to worry about it, and it's a good for storage, and it just looks really cool. This is also good for shops, so you can kind of just like show the shops through this. And next, guys, we have potions, and these new potions are Potion of Jump Boost, Jump Boost 2, and then Splash Jump Boost and Jump Boost 2, and we have Water Breathing, which is awesome. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a Jump Boost. So this is me normally jumping. And then this is me jumping now, which means I can jump basically over any fences now. So, that's really cool. And you can always get the potion one, which does basically the same thing, but you don't jump as high. So next, we have the new player heads. This looks, I mean, they're the same thing, but they look more 3D now. And when you used to want to try to get custom items, you just get the head that looks like that. Just like getting the head like that, but now... If I do this, I get my own head. You can see that it's no longer a steep head. You can actually see the custom head like that, which is really cool. I really think it's gonna be pretty awesome. Just it's not really a big update, but it's definitely a little nicer to have. And next we have the banners. These are these are cool. These are gonna be built on castles, and if you go to Planet Minecraft, you're actually able to design your own banners, which are cool. So we have white, orange, purple, blue, yellow, green, pink. Gray, red, blue, gray, <laughs> green, round, blue, purple, and black. So lots of creative control in this. You can definitely make some cool stuff out of this. Lots lots of creative control. So I think those are going to come in handy when the medieval genre starts to upgrade. All right, guys. So the next part of it is the slime block and the iron trapdoor. So the iron trapdoor, unlike the normal trapdoor, is can only be activated using a lever. So if you do that cannot do it any other way but you can however use this to open it and this is also a slime block which is super awesome so if I just press this button it basically acts like a trampoline which is cool so I mean it's gonna be fun just to like how you can like troll people with it and so guys let's go to the next one and next guys we have the awesome new enchantment stuff so now the enchanting table needs to use lapis this time if you even want to make anything out of it. But since I'm in creative mode, I don't think it's going to really matter. But I'll show you guys what it is anyway. I'm just going to splash myself with a bunch of XP. So yeah, um, it's really cool. It's, I mean, it actually gives lapis somewhat of a use this time instead of just being used to like give the sheep some color. And my sound's not going on. So yeah. So we go over here and then let it, let's first enchant this. And now you can also see what it could possibly give you. So if I click this, it would probably give me Unbreaking 3, which is all it gives, which is really, really bad enchantment. And then if we go and do the axe, this time let's go to game mode 0. Hopefully nothing is going to try to come and kill me. Okay. So see, you can't do it right now because you need to add lapis lazuli so if I do this I just keep trying to find one that would actually fit apparently I can't so I'm just gonna do that and I get unbreaking one efficiency two which is not too bad actually it's it's a pretty good enchantment and it only had to use one lapis lazuli so let's try again with this pickaxe so it can actually it's really cool it shows you basically just how how to which enchantment you may be getting which is <laughs> so helpful um, so let's just keep going, so we could get efficiency 4, unbreaking 3, which re really looks cool, and actually guys, um, I, I was trying, and like, you're not able to switch the enchantments, so you only get 3 enchantments per pickaxe, which means you can't really take your chances anymore, which means you, basically if you want some touch and you don't see it, well, you'll probably have to keep making pickaxes until you find it, which is <laughs> definitely not all that great, but um, next guys, we have this, which is the new repairing, anvil so if we go back to game mode zero you can see that it used to cost like a lot of money to get it fixed let's see if you want it it used to cost like i don't know like 20 levels or something but now from gain half to full it only costs four levels plus you only use a little bit of diamonds and also it doesn't cost as much to enchant anything anymore so if you do like this whoops <laughs> Uh, perhaps I have to actually... Oh, I bet that's a new thing. See, I keep learning things even when I'm not even really trying. 
So if I go to this and get fortune, then see it only costs six levels, which is really nice. Definitely is cheaper alternative. And then next, guys, if we go over here, we get the new enchantment called Depth Strider. This is the book. You can find it easily just right here. And basically what it does is it lets you walk in water way faster. So here's I'll just show you guys what it looks like without. So I'm just kind of just straddling along like that. But then if I do this, I can just kind of like float, just sprint along the bottom, which is so much nicer. And <laughs> This is really nice if you ever want to just like you get to like or explore the new temples, which would be a very very good idea. And that's what I'm actually going to show you guys next is the new temple. So that is going to do it for this one, and I'm just going to show you guys the new temple. And let's see about that. So let's go up here. I already have it all found and everything, so it might be a bit laggy when I log in. But so this is basically what it looks like. It's really really cool. Um, you can see the prismarine is definitely very, very, very potent here, and the freaky little guardian guys. So let's just go to this. Ah, oh, it's gonna be your laggy for me. So it can be a, like a, a maze type thing. Um, so if we go like around here, oh yeah, here's the scary guardians. But yeah, if we go around here, this is where the treasure is, which is the dark prismarine. If you break this, you get the gold. And there's actually usually a boss here, but I don't know where he is. He might not have spawned. But yeah, usually there's this huge boss that tries to kill you. He's basically like a bigger version of these guardians. So you don't really want to mess with him because he's quite powerful and will destroy you if you're not prepared for him. So then you can just go here, mine the gold, and you can use the gold to buy stuff, or you can use it to craft some horrible gold armor. And yeah, so that is basically it for the new 1.8 update. As I said, I'm not really getting into the commands much, but I did really enjoy going into um, most of the items, which was awesome, and I think <laughs> it looks really cool. And next, guys, we have another new mob called the Endermite. So yep, these are these little guys. They're basically silverfish. So they're really cool. They look, they're like all purpley and have little red eyes, and he kind of just killed them all for some reason. So, let's see. Okay, uh, let's see if we can shoot one. I'm not sure if these guys teleport yet, because I haven't really... I haven't really tested these guys out too much. Yeah, so it looks like they don't teleport. They just kind of are creepy little cyclops fish. So, these are pretty cool. But they're kind of, it's nice to have another end mob for finally another time so um so you guys thanks so much for watching if you enjoyed please leave a thumbs up and subscribe and i'll see you guys all in the next video bye guys mm -hmm.